Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Monday. So the kids, myself, and Gonzo, we are out of town right now. My husband had to work so he couldn't come, but we are out visiting two of my sisters that we didn't get to see over Christmas. So that's what we're doing this week. Usually on Monday, I would have a video out, some kind of couponing video, either for CVS, Walgreens, Target, somewhere. Uh, but since we are traveling, that's not going to be up until later in the week. But next to our hotel, there is a Hobby Lobby. And for those who don't know, Hobby Lobby last night online hit 80% off. So Hobby Lobbies are closed on Sunday, so I couldn't check it out. But today I'm going to go in there and hopefully it's 80% off in store as well. Now Hobby Lobby will hit 90% off, but um, at my store is usually 90% off at Hobby Lobby is nothing that I like. It's usually pretty cleared out by then. So I'm going to go today and see if I can find anything cute that I am interested in buying. 80% off is good enough for me. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested to see what I can find, then please keep watching. All right, so walking into Hobby Lobby, I was actually pleasantly surprised with how stocked their store was. There were at least a good four aisles completely full of various Christmas and holiday items. This is the highest markdown so far for Christmas and holidays at Hobby Lobby. Now, it should be getting 90% soon. I'm thinking Thursday will be 90% off, but like I said, the stuff goes fast. If you want to hold off to 90%, go for it. But for me, 80% is good enough in order to get the items that I want. I got to the store shortly after opening, so it was pretty early in the morning, and the store was already packed full of people filling their carts. So like I said, the stuff will go fast. If you want to hold out, you're going to have to cross your fingers. There was some pretty cool stuff that you can save for next year. I found a bunch of these advent calendars for socks. This is perfect to grab for 80% off, stow away, and then bring out for next Christmas. Now, don't ask me why this was a complete impulse buy, a car costume where you can turn your car into Rudolph the Reindeer. Um, I am ashamed to say that I did purchase this. Again, do not ask me why. I, I can't even answer that for you. I came across a whole bunch of gift bags, most of them between 40 and 60 cents each. I'm happy I found a whole bunch of medium sized bags. At my house, I have a whole bunch of small bags and a whole bunch of large bags, but I was running low on the medium, so I went ahead and I grabbed about a dozen of these. Tons of ornaments, most of them between 50 cents and $2, a whole bunch of varieties. I have an obsession with collecting strange ornaments, so I did grab one. I loved this gumball machine, so I went ahead and put this one in my cart. It ended up being only $1.60, and I thought it was just super, super cute. All the big sets and variety packs of ornaments are also a great deal with this 80% off clearance price. After clearance, these cute Santa ornaments end up being only $3. And this giant container down here, this ended up being only $4. This is a giant container of ornaments. Also, this store was packed full of wreaths. Now, some of these wreaths were outrageously priced, so to get them for 80% off is quite a steal. I would go ahead and snag one if you've had your eye on one for a while. Many of them were regularly priced over $100. So this LED light wreath would only be $19.99 instead of $99.99. This LED garland, it was absurdly regularly priced $139. That is absolutely insane, but after the clearance, you can snag it for around $28, which is far more reasonable. There is also lots of gift wrapping supplies, wrapping paper, gift boxes, bows, ribbons, all kinds of stuff to save stow away for next Christmas. Look at this super cute little thing of magic reindeer food. It's such a simple idea, but I just thought it was so adorable and it's only a little bit over a dollar. Super, super cute. Now, this hobby location that I went to was lacking in home decor. I'm hoping my location, when I get back into town, will have a little bit more selections, but you know, I did find a few things. This countdown to Christmas was pretty cute. 
Now, I did stumble across some 80% off clearance that doesn't even look Christmas related at all. I found these Frozen 2 tumblers. Again, these are not even Christmas related, but they are also ringing 80% off. They are only about $2 each tumbler. I also found this Buddy the Elf tumbler, and yes, I had to snag this for myself. Look at how cute this kitchenware stuff is, you guys. Look at this little thing for the cream, the little sugar jar. Most of this stuff is between two to three dollars. I found a bunch of cupcake liners. These are only 40 cents. They are Christmas themed, but I like to bake year round and I don't care if my cupcakes have Christmas theme in the middle of July. For 40 cents, I'm going to grab the liners. Again, I found some more items that don't even look Christmas related. You can use this serving ware, this dining stuff year round. It does not need to be just for Christmas and for 80% off, go ahead and snag this if you guys need some new plates, some new serving ware, you cannot beat the price. Tons of cute serving ware. I found this cookies for Santa plate for only $3. The one I have is pretty dated and it's cracked in a spot. So for only $3 to get this brand new one that is just too adorable. Yeah, I'm definitely putting this in my cart. I also found more cupcake liners down this aisle. So I went ahead and snatched those up too. Again, these are only 40 cents. Really cute tins. If you do a lot of baking Christmas cookies, this is great to give to a neighbor or a friend, especially for only 80% off. And yep, that embarrassingly just happened. And moving on, I also came across a whole bunch of really cute throw pillows. Lots of Christmas themed mugs and drinkware as well, and you can see on the bottom more of those frozen cups that are also included in the 80% off. This location didn't have a whole bunch of the big ticket items left like outdoor decorations or Christmas trees. They did have some stuff though, like this really big outdoor joy to the world sign. Normally about $80, now down to roughly $15. This is a really big sign, it's like five and a half feet tall. You could also snag yourself a really somewhat creepy looking animatronic Santa for only $15. I'm pretty sure I would rather put this out as a Halloween decoration, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Some cute ceramic cookie jars as well. Again, some of these don't even really look Christmas related. You could get yourself an Olaf cookie jar that's good year round. Also look at these donuts, a donut cookie jar. Not even remotely Christmas related, but still 80% off. All right. So as you can see, there is a giant snowstorm outside right now. So that was not fun to go out in, but I was very pleasantly surprised. I have never been to this Hobby Lobby before and it was very well stocked. There was like four very full aisles packed full of Christmas stuff. So that was awesome. I didn't get a whole lot, just a lot of stuff that wasn't my style or stuff that I didn't necessarily need. Plus I am also still holding out for Target's 90% off. Um, Target was still 70% today. So fingers crossed it hits 90% tomorrow every store is different so if one store across the country hits 90 percent off your store still might be at 70 so it's always better to call ahead and ask or just go in store and find out for yourself that way but um i did get two bags full of stuff so i'll go ahead and show you what i got so i got both of these full bags of stuff for about 20 dollars. so that's very very successful for me and i'm really happy with what i found all right this was definitely an impulse buy um i don't now that I have it in my car, I'm just kind of like second guessing myself as to why I bought this. Um, but it is exactly what it looks like. It is a reindeer outfit for your car. Um, I'll just live by the whole phrase of no regrets. No regrets. Next year, my SUV is going to be a reindeer. 
And then I did get um, a decent amount of medium sized gift bags. I always have a whole bunch of small ones or for some reason a whole bunch of really big ones, but I always run out of the medium sized ones. So I just grabbed these. I have, um, they didn't have a lot of designs to choose from, but I grabbed what I found, which was the Santa Claus bags, these striped Merry Christmas bags, and then these other Merry Christmas bags. So decent for what I could find. The wrapping paper at Hobby Lobby was too expensive for me, even being 80% off. That is something I'm going to hope I find at Target. But the bags were good. They were between 40 to 60 cents. These were $3.99. So yeah, 80% off. I could, I could deal with that. So I grabbed about a dozen of these. And then I also grabbed about a half a dozen of these baking cups for 80% off. Um, I like baking, I like making cupcakes, and you know what? When you put cupcakes in the oven, you, it's very hard to see the design of the baking liner anyways, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, 80% off for these, yeah, I'm definitely, I grabbed all of them that I could find. I also grabbed all three of these door hangers that I found. Um, I just think they're really cute and I'm gonna hang them. I have three bathrooms in my house, so I'm gonna hang one on the outside of each bathroom, so. I thought these were super cute. I also have an obsession with collecting ornaments and I just like finding stuff that's just kind of odd and different. Um, and I just found this gumball machine and I thought it was really, really cute. So I went ahead and snagged this as well. And then I could not leave the store without this tumbler. I'm just, okay. If you are saying that you don't like the movie Elf, you're a liar. So, so I had to get this. I thought it was super cute and it rang up $2 at the register. So I'm very, very happy with this. And that's my little mini haul from Hobby Lobby. Like I said, I didn't get a ton. I will still check my Hobby Lobby when I get back into town when it does hit 90% off. I'm not gonna keep my hopes up, but if I do find something at 90% at my location, it would be a pleasant surprise. Obviously I still have Target that I need to go to. Um, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, those will all hit 90% off. Usually around the middle of January for those locations, they take a little bit longer. But yeah, there's a lot more Christmas clearance coming up that I am going to be scoping out. So I didn't go nuts. But I'm hoping you guys can check out your Hobby Lobbies and maybe you can find something that you like. And yeah, 80% off is really, really fantastic. Especially if you can find like some of those really cute decor items. Um, my sister's location store that I went to did not have a ton of that, so I was a little bit bummed because I did want to snag up some cute Christmas decor, but like I said, I am happy for what I found. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and like always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Until next time!